Welcome back to Huawei Connect Live. My name is Chris, and in studio this morning we have uh, Dr. Vincent Guillenet, Managing Consultant of FFI Consulting. So um, we're talking about food production, AI, big data technology in the food industry. Um, you're an expert in the poultry, poultry field, and um, just wanted to hear your, your views on especially blockchain. What's, what's going on with blockchain? I think with blockchain is a great potential. Uh, we've seen already some companies having started some, uh, some initiatives. Mm. Uh, like in, uh, in France, in, in terms of poultry, you got Carrefour, they had just launched a blockchain uh, poulet d'Auvergne, so it's a specific chicken, and they're trying to use blockchain to build the trust of the consumers, to, to build the trust along the, the whole, the entire value chain. Mm. So really, I think we're going to see more of those, it's going to take time, you know, this is not going to be a revolution, uh, tomorrow change, but it's going to be evolving over time. I think this is really a, right. a foundation, a technology that will be a foundation for the right. future. One of the, right. the challenges for mm. uh, blockchain in the food mm. chain is that you have many, many uh, players along, the, along the, the value chain, mm. and you can start, if you talk just poultry, you know, we're going to feed uh, chickens, chicken feed. Right. So then you can backtrack and then go all the way to the field where the crops are being planted, uh, fertilize, use different pesticides, and then harvested, feed meal, and then it's delivered to the chicken. At the same time, the chickens, they, they hatch, they're being you know, raised, all those things. So it's extremely complicated. And then of the farm, you have the processing, and uh, so really, it's going to take, that's why it's going to take time, because all those different blocks, all those different transactions mm. needs to be recorded in a uh, sort of more efficient manner. I know you're doing a lot of work, or you have a lot of experience working in Africa. Um, with small hold farmers um, in terms of technology and how, how that's enabling them to, to succeed. Uh, what, what do you see now and what do you see in the future? Mobile technology, you know, mm. I think that was the tag word you have for this conference, or make it possible, right? Right, yeah, activate intelligence. I mean, yep. mobile technology has changed already the lives of the smallholder farmers, especially in Africa. I mean, in all countries, but in Africa, it's, it's very obvious. Mm. It's really remove their isolation. Mobile technology can really now bring them closer together. It's mm. going to change their life. It has already, but not fast enough. Right. You still have four billion people without internet access. Yeah, it just blows it's, your mind, doesn't it's it? Very, yeah. It's very hard. You know, only 40% of the population has internet access. Only one out of six has high speed. Hmm you know, broadband, high-speed right. internet. So we still have a lot of progress to make, but in Africa, if you look at uh, M-Pesa, for example, you know, the banking system with the mobile phone mm. has totally changed the life of the smallholders and the way they do transaction, financial transaction, make it so much simpler, easier, faster. Yeah. So it's already one step. So we need to, we need to do more, and especially, in, in Africa, a lot of the smallholders, are, a lot of women are involved, yeah. and they're still quite reluctant to embrace you know, mobile phone technologies. So we need to do whatever we can to help them to avoid that you know, digital divide. Right. So in food production and farming, there's a lot of stuff happening, but there's a lot of stuff that we need to do still to get people connected and enabled in the, the intelligent world. So to, at least now we have, the, we have the technology, we have the way to access them, now we need to entice them to use more of mm. you know mobile technology yep. a recent study showed that you know it's still in africa farmers are still reluctant to use mobile technology mm. for lack of knowledge for lack of training uh, and for fear of the unknown so i think we need to to change that and it's changing a lot i mean in africa urban population they they do change very quickly adopt mm. mobile technology it's more like in the rural areas where we need we need more of, we need to help them more right. to So at Huawei Connect this year, um, a big big focus is bringing awareness and uh, activating intelligence is our theme. So Absol that's part of it today. And uh, I'd like to really thank you, uh, Vincent, for being here with us today. And um, I look forward to uh, talking to you more. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks.